forgot that I've got to like squat a little bit because I set up the camera a little different. But hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of... It's not Sunday Sippin'. Welcome to another episode of Saturday Sippin', where we will um, end and begin... Because it's the end of the week. Yeah, uh, oh, God, this is what happens when I try to jazz it up. Where we begin and end every week with a conversation and a drink. I'm Ling. Brew is... Bruce is this way. He's currently eating dinner. You might be able to see him on... No. On this. Look up here. He's eating right there. There he is. <laughs> we got two cams. But yeah, I gotta... I do one of these. Hi! How's everybody doing? Thank you so much for joining me on Saturday. I know it's a little different. Um, as you can see, I'm alive. Which is good. There's some type of like gnarly cold flu like sickness that's been going around. Um, something about like mucus in your your uh, in your this area, your chest, and like coughing. It's a lot of coughing. Um, this is the first time I've been bedridden, sick before. Like I literally was in bed for like two days straight. It was cr like that's that's wild for me. I've ne that's never happened to me. So last week was a little bit of a doozy. And I was getting over being sick. So today was the first day I actually had like a cold drink. I was wanting a cold drink so bad, but since I was coughing, I couldn't drink cold drinks without, you know, dying basically. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling better. Thank you so much for joining me today. And Rue, come on, come here. Let's say hi to the sippers. I think we have Tony here. Hi, Tony. Everybody say hi to Brew. What do you think, Brew? Oh, wait, hold on. We do have, we have a, a special outfit for him today. Wait, hold up, hold up. I'll be, be right back. We're back. This is Bruce's special Aldi sweater. He's got a cute little winter sweater from Aldi. Look at how cute. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> also, hi Wildflower. Thank you so much for the sub. Um, 36 months. Bro, we've been doing this shit. I say this every time somebody subs. But like, <laughs> we've been doing this shit for three years, bro. Look. There's a little Aldi. <laughs> He's got the colors on the back, the little logo. I also have my Aldi socks on too. We match. <laughs> you sweet handsome boy. Are you such a handsome boy? You say hi. <laughs> He's posing. Look at him. He also probably does not. He's not happy that there's not any snacks right now. Even though you just ate, huh? What do you think? Love you. Okay. 
All right, I'll, I'll put you. I'll put you down. Ugh, there you go. I think I'm, I'm gonna just hear it and make it right there. Also loving the hairstyle today for you. Very beautiful. Thank you. I actually, this is the shortest I've actually gotten my hair cut. Um, do a little, do a little spin. See the back. The back might be a little flat because I did wash it last night and then I went directly to sleep. So, uh, oops. But I love it. And then I'm wearing the uh, the little Debbie's earrings, the, the the cake earrings that Wildflower got for me last year, year before last. <laughs> I do still have a, like a slight lingering cough, which kind of sucks. There you go. But yes, thank you guys so much for joining me. I do have, oh, before we get started, I gotta put my apron on. <coughs> oh my God. I <laughs> received this apron for my birthday. Um, our friend Darby actually made this for me. She was on stream last week. Um, Doing little little dabs with little darbs. But look at how cute this is! <laughs> Did I intentionally uh, choose this orange shirt because there's oranges on this? Kind of. <laughs> it looks nice. Short hair suits you. Cute earrings suit. Thank you, Tony! Well, how have you been? Let me know how you guys have been. I know, Tony, you said you were getting over being sick, too. Because it, was, it was not fun. Being sick is not fun. Um, but yes, it, this apron even has... Pockets. There we go. It's actually a cute apron. I got two more pockets here. Check her out. Okay, let me, let me scoot her a little bit. I'm wearing sweats. Don't judge me. <laughs> or judge me, that's okay. But it's so cute. Love it. Uh, I did have to tie up the back just a little bit. It's kind of short because I like to I like to bring the apron up here because I get messes and shit up here. Um, but I know usually like holiday, around the holiday times, people like to bake and cook and do things. And we haven't done a Ling cooking stream in a little while. I don't remember the last one we did. I think we did uh, the kopiak, so the noodles. But this time around, uh, I wanted to make some dumplings with Ling. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, we're gonna try to just kind of come up with the dumplings on the fly. Um, because I, my usual dumpling recipes involve ground pork and cabbage, and I don't have ground pork or cabbage. So we're just gonna see how it goes. We'll go from there. So yeah, uh, let me know how you guys' weeks have been, how you guys, how you guys have been, and of course it is Sunday sipping, Saturday sipping. So if you're sipping on anything, let me know what you're sipping on. Uh, I'm about to, I just started up, actually my, my water's done. So I'm about to get some hot water. So I probably should still continue drinking hot water. But I did visit Trey at work. He's at work right now. I did visit Trey at work. Um, I just got back actually from the speakeasy. And that's why I pushed the, the stream up a little bit because or back a little bit because I was like, well, I wanna go say hi to him. Um, so yeah, okay, let me let me get some water. Also, let me wash my hands. Because they didn't stick up <laughs> We're doing holiday cooking. And by holiday holiday cooking, we're making dumplings. They're gonna be a dump of ingredients you have on hand. So dumplings! <laughs> yes. Actually, that's, that's basically what's gonna happen. The only thing is I am concerned about these. I'm slightly concerned about these freezing, but mm, you know, let's fine. Um, I don't have anything going on on the stove. So you guys are gonna actually get a face cam if you look here. I actually have a face cam so I can say hi. Um, and then this will actually be the, the, the cooking cam. Wow! We're getting places, guys! <laughs> uh, burned out, trying to relax. Each Christmas present took 10 plus hours and made them a bolt. Lots of stuff, but now I can work on my own projects, which is nice. Yay! Well, congratulations getting that done. I bet that was exhausting. So, kudos to you for trying to relax and taking care of yourself. Very excited to see the projects and uh, see stuff that you're gonna work on for yourself. I always love seeing people's passion projects. Um, okay, so this is gonna involve some prep. Uh, it's a little bit of prep. So I'm thinking I have tofu and I have mushrooms. So I think we're gonna do like a tofu mushroom filling, which I think sounds good. But 
we so this is a tofu press i'm actually gonna take our tofu and like try to squeeze out as much water as we can while we're doing other things because i don't want the filling to be too soggy because if the filling is soggy in um the the, the dumplings and they'll basically fall apart if you try to cook them so um let me go get the tofu and we got some mushrooms that we're gonna work with too um let's see Right, we got some onions we can toss in here. Um, okay, so look at these cute little mini king oyster mushrooms. They're so cute. Uh, so we're going to use these. But here's the tofu that, well, here's the tofu that we got going on. Let me actually shut the fridge. That is, okay, so what I'm, I don't know where this habit came from, but I've been getting into this really bad habit of leaving the fridge door open like i don't know why i don't know where it came from or what 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 happened but yeah i've been leaving the fridge door open and it's super annoying <laughs> i'm over here wasting the electricity bill for no reason um here's my hot water that i'm having okay so i already cut these into cubes because i used it in the soup that i made earlier this week so we're just gonna try to line these up basically. The bottom here. Yeah, we're just gonna try to, I'm trying to get it towards the middle. I'm not very good at Tetris. Eh. Eh. Ooh, ooh, I think it might actually, hold up. It might actually work. Hey, oh, what's up Splits? Happy holidays. Welcome on in, how are you? We're currently trying to put tofu into a tofu press. I think it's kind of working. Here we go. All right. This is going in the sink. Also, the thing I love about this apron is that it does have where is it? it does have pockets, so I can actually stick my um, uh, towels in here instead of just tossing it over my shoulder and then, like, fucking up my shirt, basically. Oh, there we go. Uh, but yes, happy holidays! What dumplings are my... Oh, so we're kind of just... Uh, we're like freestyling this a little bit. I'm just kind of seeing what I have in my fridge. And we're just going to wing it, basically. So the usual dumplings that I like to make are pork and cabbage. I do not have pork and I do not have cabbage. So uh, we're starting off with some tofu that I'm about to press and get as much water out of. So if you guys can see here, this contraption basically flattens the tofu out um and squeezes out the moisture so i'm twisting this little knob Ugh, please did i fuck up is it too is this as far as this is gonna go well it looks like it's squeezing water out so that's good because this one goes the opposite way yeah it goes the opposite way so we're just gonna Yeah, okay. All right, we're just gonna squeeze this as much as she can. I think this is literally as far as she can go. Okay, this is as far as she can go. So uh, we've squeezed this and there's actually a little, there's some slotted holes right here. So as the water drips out, we can actually just like pour it out this direction. So I'm actually gonna do that. And I'm just gonna set her to the side. You guys can hear it is actually still some water from that. So we're gonna set this tofu to the side over here, over here, uh, in this direction, uh, and then get to work on other things. So we're doing mushrooms because I have mushrooms around. So here's my mini king oyster mushrooms. I just think they're so stinking cute. Uh, I only have one pack of um, what am I trying to say? 
uh, uh, wrappers. So I don't want to go overboard and make too much filling, which is fine. But like, uh, we're we're gonna try to we're gonna try to eyeball it well. Uh, would you be interested in doing a Roaring Twenties cocktail stream? Popular cocktail served in the speakeasy. Actually, I, well, Splits, was it you that brought this up? It was a couple streams ago. Somebody did want a Roaring Twenties uh, themed cocktail stream as well. Because I, I re actually really wanted to do a cocktail stream today. But because I'm getting over being sick, I didn't want to ex exactly get, like, go backwards on my sickness recovery so i was like okay let me not do cocktails one more day and then um we'll do that but yeah i mean i think it'd be really fun to kind of like make these cocktails and then do taste tests um the speakeasy that trey works at is actually uh, like a prohibition themed speakeasy so he's got a little bit of he's got quite a bit of knowledge actually that when it comes to that so i would love to do that Wildflower, I think you have already posted it in the topic suggestions, but uh, if you don't mind to post that again for me, if it's not already like up there, I think it is, um, just so that I, I have a reminder. But yeah, I would love to do that. We can like get dressed up and shit. Um, I don't have like a flapper dress or whatever, but you know, we, we can get dressed up and like look cute and shit. We might be able to do that for the uh, um, New Year, actually the New Year's stream. So that might be something interesting to do if you guys would be interested in that. Uh, oh, yes, so Trey's currently at work. Um, he's at the speakeasy, so <laughs> he's currently serving cocktails, just not on stream. Um, so yeah, you guys get me and Brew. Where, where's the Brungus? The, the Brung. There's Brung right there. He's taking a big ol' snooze right now in his Ollie sweater. There we go. Okay, I have two types of mushrooms. So I have the king, mini king oyster mushrooms, and then I have this, I think they're similar to wood ear mushrooms, like black wood ear mushrooms, which is what I usually get. So I'm gonna treat them like black wood ear mushrooms. Um, but these are the two mushrooms that are gonna go in there, along with the tofu that we're pressing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started with rehydrating these fungus mushrooms, the wood ear mushrooms. Um, Okay, I did just start hot water. So, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cow pillow, he's a cow dog. Yes, New Year's Day. Okay, yeah, so yeah, you guys wanna do that? Cause I am planning on doing a New Year's uh, day stream. Cause it, we, we both work for, um, we were both working at the speakeasy on uh, New Year's Eve, which is an actual Sunday. Um, so on New Year's Day, we can do a Roaring Twenties themed uh, cocktail stream to start off the new year, if you guys would be interested in that. I think it'd be fun. If you have any suggestions on, oh, this is, okay. So for those of you guys who haven't seen these before, I'm gonna show you, I can actually like, kind of give you a close up. They're actually kind of soft. So these are dehydrated mushrooms. This, this feels almost kind of velvety. It's got like a tan bottom and then a black up top. Um, and again, the ones I've seen haven't just been black all over. So this is a little different, but since they're dehydrated, we want to rehydrate them. And that's what we're gonna do with this water. I'm gonna do like maybe a handful. I don't really know how much to, I don't really know how much to use. Remember, not what you come up with, make what they actually serve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I feel like would be because Trey actually has a uh, a cocktail book that has cocktails. I don't remember if it's from Prohibition era or like around that era, but we had made one one day. Or like it was one evening. Our friend Cody was over and uh, our friend Dixie was over too. Actually, our our moderator Dixie was over. And we made one of these cocktails and we were like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start off here. I think that looks good because they're gonna expand. And then we have these mushrooms too. So these are going to go into a bag and go bye-bye. 
So this is going to sit in this bowl for about 10 minutes. If you guys have any Prohibition style era cocktails, like a specific cocktail recipe that you want us to try, also post that in the uh, topic suggestions uh, channel on Discord too. Because some of them, some of them are classics. Like you, you can't ever go wrong with the bee's knees. If you guys know, what, or if you guys don't know what a bee's knees is, it is gin, honey syrup, lemon, it's shaken up. Put it. It's, it's delicious. I think that's also a prohibition era. I think. Um, but there's some like weird ass. Shit. Like you know, it's prohibition. You're literally just trying to get your your alcohol in so that you don't get caught by the feds. They go home. So sometimes they just like be pouring shit in. <laughs> You just gotta get your alcohol in. I don't know if a penicillin is also in that same era. I can have penicillins because it calls for ginger, I think. I think I don't have ginger in it. Oh, my back's itchy. Oh, okay. All right. These are going to be put to the side. I have like half an onion. Oh, not even half. It's like a quarter of an onion. I feel like onion in this makes sense. But the goal, I feel like the goal should be to um, make everything, like we need to make this feeling as homogenous as possible. Like I don't want like a random piece of onion that's going to crunch in. Like it needs to be, all the pieces need to be like small and manageable. That's just the vibes. That's the vibes I'm getting. I do have. Hmm. Let's see. Ugh. Come here, garlic. There's currently garlic shavings all over the ground. We are going to also add onion and garlic just because I feel like that's like a, we should put that in the fillings, right? That like makes sense for fillings. All right, I got the, uh, I got my bowl over here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start off by, okay, let's figure out how much garlic we want. You can never have too much garlic. That's what I say at least. All right, we're gonna, cause there, I do have, so we did the thing where Trey and I went to the store separately and we didn't realize that we had bought the same thing, but I bought a whole tube of garlic and then he bought a whole tube of garlic. So now we have two tubes of garlic, like sleeves of garlic basically. And I was like, well, I don't want these to go bad. so. Extra garlic and everything. Hi, Dixie. You're making me hungry. Going to step away for a salad. Be right back. Okay. I'll be here splits. I got you. <laughs> Hi, Dixie. How are you? Uh, brew, you got a Trito. Let me... Okay. Ugh. Oh. So these are actually from our wonderful friend, Al My Feelings, Papa Feelings, uh, gifted brew some Tritos. So he's got a whole thing of Tritos now. Uh, just a scratchy throat, but doing a lot better. Oh, good, because I know you were struggling a couple days ago. Everybody be sick. All right, we got, we got a milk bone. This is the one he had earlier, so. He heard me open that, look at him. Look at him. Oh, the Brungie boy. All right. This is from Dixie. Are you ready? Wait, wait, sit. Sit. Good shit, good boy. Stay. Uh-uh, stay. 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 Get it! Oh, it's on his back. You got it! You, it's on your back! Get it! There you go. Good boy. 
Oh, he's uh, he's taking away. Thank you for using your drinks. <laughs> He'll be back. <laughs> he's actually right. Here. He's a he's a funny dude. All right, let me wash my hands. Thankfully, mine was only a 24 hour book. Oh, good. I'm glad. Still, 24 hours sucks being sick like that, but I'm glad that it didn't last very long because, man, it's being sick for a whole ass week for me was wild. Like, that is, that's just like unheard of for me. <laughs> okay, I have one, two, three, four, five cloves of garlic. That seems appropriate. We're just going to go with that. <laughs> I also need a, I need a garbage. We're gonna scooch our trash into our garbage bowl. I actually, I don't know if I've talked about this before. Growing up, uh, we watched a lot of Food Network actually, which is probably where, a, you know, a, a part of the reason why I love food so much. Um, but Rachel Ray, it was Rachel Ray specifically, I remember she had a, like her own cookware, a lot of chefs have their own cookware, you know, that you can buy and stuff. And she specifically had one for, like, she had a bowl for trash. It was just like, it was marketed as a trash bowl. And I was like, bro, a trash bowl? That's stupid. Literally just put, just put your shit in the trash can. Like, you don't need a bowl and you need something separate. Okay, so now that I'm older, <laughs> trash bowls really are helpful. Um, it's not necessarily, like, you shouldn't go out and buy, like, a $16 dedicated trash bowl i feel like you can use whatever but like having a bowl dedicated to put trash in as you're cooking is very very helpful <laughs> okay so we got our onion basically just trying to take off what i can with my hands before i chop into it Okay, and before I chop into onions, I'm gonna go ahead and. Can you guys see this? There you go. Okay. Just palm hill strike these bitches. I, uh. I don't know if you guys follow T Pain or not. I do. I like T-Pain. I think he's cool. He just dropped an album. It's not technically like, it's a, it's a cover album because he did like a live show where he did some covers of different songs, but now it's available for streaming and he has a cover. I don't usually like song. I don't, I'm not much of a country gal, right? Like country is not usually what I listen to, but uh, he has a cover of the song Tennessee Whiskey and you know, we live in Tennessee, so that song's everywhere. And I work in the alcohol industry. I work at a distillery. So like, it's just, it's overplayed. It's everywhere, right? But, oh my God, y'all. Uh, <laughs> T-Pain's cover of Tennessee Whiskey is just so, it's so good. Like, it's so addicting. T-Pain is just a really good, like, musician anyway. Um, love his voice. But if you have not heard his cover of Tennessee Whiskey yet, I, I implore you. <laughs> because it is so good he just adds so much like like zhuzh to it it to the song is so good okay i am currently i didn't palm hill strike these enough that's what happened also my knives are hella dull like it's a pain in the ass just I was trying to, I, these knives don't cut through citrus anymore, which can be kind of dangerous. Dull knives are always more dangerous than sharp knives um, because dull knives can slip and hurt you more than having a sharp knife do exactly what, oh my bad. Having it need to, doing it, doing exactly what you need it to do is cut things. Um, but I was trying to cut some, some citrus the other day because I wanted to make uh, garnishes. The citrus was going bad and like it was a struggle cutting through these lemons and limes and stuff and there wasn't i'm not sure i guess the, the citrus was a little older because i was trying to dehydrate them but like 
I shouldn't be hacking and slashing into, you know, a a, a, a lemon, and then accidentally doing doing that. Not like so. As a as a Christmas present, actually, uh, our friend Quinn uh, has offered to sharpen my knives for me. Apparently, he, that's like he he really enjoys like sharpening blades and stuff. Um, so I was like, hell yeah, dude, that's a great, I'm all about the functional gifts too. So I was like, yes, I've been needing my knives sharpened for so long. Um, so yeah, I'm getting my knives sharpened on Tuesday, I think. This is what we read on. All right, we've got half an onion here. And we got Also I do have background music on. Let me know if it's too loud or if you can't hear it. Okay, so we are going to we're gonna like mince these. Like these suckers are gonna be they gotta be small, small. Cause I do sometimes I'll I'll do like chunks of these for um my regular what the fuck? There we go. For my regular dumplings, too. I actually... You know, guys, I couldn't tell you the last time I made dumplings. I, I think the last time I actually made dumplings was with our friend Bria. She's, like, my... she uh, Especially through college and stuff, she was very interested in cooking and, like, always offered to help. She was my, my sous chef. I called her my sous chef. Um, but dumplings was, like, our, uh, our thing. Our dish that we would do. Uh, so we actually... I think uh, if you guys check my Instagram... We got a uh, a dumpling tattoo, and they're like matching, they're like matching tattoos that we got basically because uh, they were, dumplings remind us of each other. So yeah, I think that might be the last time I've made dumplings was with her. If it wasn't with her, it was with Fisty, because I know we had brisket dumplings that I I made brisket dumplings at some point, and I don't remember if that was with him or like with the brisket that he. But yeah, that was the last time I had dumplings. So it's one of those where it's like, you know, it's a, oh God, sorry. I'm losing my train of thought because I'm crying. I'm crying. Shit. Okay. Yeah, we're basically just going to try to mince these into tiny, 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 tiny. We don't need them in a paste, but we do need them pretty tiny. Uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. This onion is loud. Also, because my knife is not sharp. So, you know, everybody has the whole like, oh, there's different tricks to make sure you don't cry when you cut onions, X, Y, Z. Like, I've, I've really, I don't know. I feel like the... The best thing you can do when it comes to cutting onions and making sure you don't cry or whatever, like the least amount of tears possible, is to have a sharp knife and cut fast. Just like, don't spend a lot of time on them and just like try to cut them as fast as you can so you limit the amount of time that you have to expose yourself to cut onion. But when you don't have a, a sharp knife and you're cutting onions, what happens is as you're cutting them, you're basically like, bruising the cell walls and the onion which is what i think releases the 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 not pheromone but the the thing that goes into the air that makes you cry basically um so if you slice it with a sharp knife it doesn't it doesn't release the the, the little is it the chemicals? I guess it's the chemicals. It doesn't release the chemical as much because you're slicing straight through it and not bruising the walls. If you bruise it, it starts to release more of these the, the, the chemicals. So that's why sharp knives are very helpful for this. Also, I don't know how to do this. So I'm just gonna do this number. Started off with the garlic. It's because I like pain. I don't, but oh shit. See, look, you see how not sharp my knife is. This just like slid straight off. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna toss her. 
And you can, you can like hear the crunch. I can't wait to get these sharpened. Okay. Trey's actually really good at mincing onions. That's one of his things. I like that when he minces garlic too. He just like does really well with it. this conversation with somebody recently but are you what is your guys's uh how did i ask this so i think we were talking about onions originally wildflower was it you because i think we we're talking about little man's and how he's not an onion fan do do you guys like onions are you guys into onions if you are tell me why you like him if you aren't tell me why you don't like him i'm an onion bitch i love onion and everything if i could put onion in everything i would when in doubt i add onion Same with garlic. Like, I just feel like everything, you can just put onion and garlic in everything and you'll be fine. Oh, my eyes. Nah, you're gonna cry for the onion. It is for making your food divine. And as such, we appreciate it for what it does by crying. Or it can make you cry because it can. <laughs> Honestly, yes, I feel like it's like a, uh, like an offering, right? It's just like, okay, uh, this is only appropriate that I cry because this onion, you're just doing so much for me. I'm, I'm touched, Onion. You guys get to see just how shitty my knife skills actually are. I have, I do, I actually don't have very good knife skills, y'all. That's something that I would love to, like, I feel like I would love to and I should practice more because I'm just like a, I'm a very practical cook, right? I just like, I know how flavors work together. Um, you know, I like, I, I know how to, I know how to cook. I know how to put ingredients together without having to use a recipe, X, Y, Z. Um, but when it comes to like my knife work itself and like the prep of ingredients, I just like, it's functional. Once it gets done, it's done. Um, but I would love to be able, you know, like when you see like chefs, like, and it's like perfectly julienne onion strips or like, uh, you know, smash sticks of uh, carrots or whatever the vegetable, like I would love to be able to do that, but I can't. Like you guys have seen me on stream before too. Like I'm slow, which is fine. You're supposed to start off slow so that you can learn how to do it. But you know, it's, <laughs> this is hard. Learning how to wield a knife is hard. It's a whole ass, it's like a skill skill. Not that it's not a skill, like, but like, it's a whole ass different set of skills in cooking. Okay, we got our five cloves of garlic. We're just gonna, we're gonna mince these bitches too. Luckily, we are just working with a lot of um, vegetables. I don't think we have any meats, so I don't have to uh, like sanitize my board in between everything. Because there's all veggies. That is something that I've actually been kind of more aware of I've, as I've been um, cooking this year specifically. Uh, is the order in which I cut things up on a cutting board. Because if you go in a specific order, that means you can wash it less. Uh, I like onions that cooked right, not crunchy ones. Definitely not on burgers though. I can live with or without them, honestly. Okay, got it. You can appreciate a well, well prepared onion. Do you do onion rings? How do you feel about onion rings? Uh, but yeah, depending on the order that you go in when it, you're using your uh, your cutting board and like prepping your ingredients means less time having to wash and like sanitize. So let's say let's say I did have meats, like I, I needed to cut up pork or whatever for this. I always am mindful of. Okay, well, if I have to cut pork on my cutting board, that means I have to sanitize my cutting board or like get a new one, which means I have to wash another cutting board. Um, 
I have to wash another cutting board or use, you know, uh, I have to wash it if I put pork on this, especially since like pork is definitely one of those, and pork and chicken, right? You gotta be super duper careful with those. Um, but if I start off first with my vegetables that are going in the same mix, I don't need to wash my cutting board after vegetables because it doesn't, they don't carry the same bacteria that I have to worry about when I cut meat. So if I start vegetables first and then go to my meats, I wash my cutting board like one less time, basically. One or two less times, depending on what you're using. Ow! Ow! I have like little pimples on my head and I forgot they were on my head and I literally just like rubbed the shit out of them. <laughs> oh! I can't do onion rings. Too much onion. Okay. I can eat onion fries and sticks. Okay, got it, got it. No, you are not, not a wimp. You're not a uh, wield a knife. Uh, you are not a wimp for not liking onion rings. You just have a preference on how you prefer your rings. Onion sticks sound really good though. Or like onion petals, you know, like like lemon onions. Cause then those are like the little petals instead of the whole ass onion. Okay, there we go. Um, we have our onion garlic in a bowl. I am gonna wash my knife real quick. Oh my god. Crying. Oh shit. Wait, I think I. Just a second. I smudged up my glasses. Fuck. I hate when I do that. I absolutely smudged the shit out of my glasses. <laughs> oh, hope the pain goes away quickly. Thank you. It's starting to subside, but you know, it's like, oh, I'm wearing makeup, and then you scratch your eye, forgetting you have makeup on your eye. Oh, shit! That's basically what happened. Except it hurts. There we go. All right. Okay, um, while I have my um, hands free, we of course are running our BLT uh, box giveaway and this is a stream in which I will ask you a question if you would like to get an entry. So, um, the question for today, hi turtle, wait, hi turtles. I was like, hold on, wait, which turtle is this? How are you, Turtis? Welcome. Wait, I'm over here waving. I can wave here. Hi, Turtis. How are you? <laughs> okay, you came in just in time. I'm about to ask the question for an entry into the BLT box giveaway. So if you want an, uh, an entry into the raffle for our BLT box giveaway, what, uh, well, did I ask this? Hold on. Let me make sure I didn't already ask this one. Hmm. Okay. Also, welcome back, Splits. Did I miss any important dumplinging? Uh, we just cut up our onions and our garlic, so it's minced very little here. Got little bits. Um, other than that, we're we're about to keep on going with our filling. So, ow, yeah, my, I definitely fucking bumped into my head. Okay, so for uh, welcome back, splits. You came back just in time as well. The question, if you answer this question, you'll get an entry into our BLT box raffle, our, our giveaway. What is your favorite holiday drink? It doesn't have to be a winter holiday either, but like, what is what is a go-to drink for you for a holiday? Like, what, what is your favorite holiday drink? Um, it also doesn't have to be alcoholic either. Literally just like a liquid that you consume during the holidays. Oh God, this, there we go. So yes, let me know in the chat. Um, let me also write it down so you guys see it. BLT box. I think this command is still on. Oh, oh yeah, it is. What? Okay. BLT box question of the stream. What? What is your favorite? holiday drink okay there we go all right discuss i hmm what is my favorite i do feel like a good 
apple cider, like a hot cider in the fall time around, well, yeah, around fall, like Halloween-ish is always a good go-to. I feel like it's underrated because hot chocolate is also really good too. Hot, hot cocoa, hot chocolate is like a, definitely like a winter staple. Um, especially peppermint hot chocolate. Yo, apple cider hits. Yeah, right? Is it your favorite? I just think this is so freaking cute. Look at these little guys. Look at them. They're so cute. Um, okay, let me, let me show you guys the pack of... seems like a smaller pack than usual too so like i think i'm just gonna do half of these mushrooms i don't really like most holiday type what is what is a drink that you like to what what, what is just like a drink that you you like to ask for like during the holidays so if somebody's like all right hey yeah we're doing drinks like what what do you what do you want like what would you order closest hot chocolate okay yeah 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 oh i'm gonna i gotta grab these down all right, Turtis, is that your answer? If it's your answer, I'm gonna write it you down for a, for an entry. All right, Tony. Peppermint mocha coffee. It's rare to drink, but it's a good change of pace for vanilla coffee. Yes. It th is. Are you talking about the one that comes in the, uh, the like, the carton? Yeah, that's my answer, but I'm fine with not being the giveaway. It's up to you because I'm I'm totally cool. Uh, if you don't want to, that's totally fine, too. You just let me know if you don't want to be a giveaway or not. Well, 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 what do we have here? Hi, Miss Physics. Uh, I'm pulling out. I'm going to actually, okay, we probably should look at these to see which ones need to be used first. But let me write down. I'll just be here and answer questions. Okay, got it. But yes, apple cider, apple cider hits. Um, Pep Moke coffee for Tony. Dixie, yours is, a, the closest is hot chocolate, which I'm like, hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, splits. the The question is, what's your favorite holiday drink? So if you would like an entry, a raffle ticket into our BLT bar, BLT box giveaway, let me know what your favorite holiday drink is. Um, but right now you got arugula salad with imitation crab, grape tomatoes, and parma parmigiano reggiano cheese. Ooh, that sounds really good. That sounds like a like a solid salad. Mm. Then Tony, I know exactly what to, you're talking about. How are you, Miss Physics? You came in just in time. We are uh, doing a, our BLT box giveaway question. We're talking about favorite holiday drinks right now. How are you? How's life? How's the new job? Yes, yeah, so like this one, she's a little sad looking. So we're gonna throw her away. This one, this one's, this one's kind of sad looking too. We're gonna throw her away. Actually, let me just like dump them out. Okay. Big old cartons of coffee pre-made is nice, especially peppermint mocha ones. I like mixing a little bit of extra. I like to do that too with like pre-made um, uh, coffee or hot chocolate or like things in a carton. I will like dilute it down with more milk because I feel like sometimes the it's too like it's too strong. It, too flat. Well, I don't. I feel like that's not the right word. Like it's too flavorful. Well. Like it's too constant uh, for me. I guess it's like too concentrated amount of sugar. So like I'll I'll like dilute it down with like milk or or water, whatever whatever the correct amount of diluting liquid is for it. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're we're just picking through mushrooms right now. Um, mushies. I don't know why they're so cute. These guys are so cute. Dressing made with olive oil, white with vinegar, salt, pepper. Ooh, yes. I love a good tangy salad dressing. That is definitely one of my go-tos. All right, this little guy is kind of weird looking. This one's fine. This one's fine. 
We are actually doing a uh, Christmas Eve K barbecue tomorrow with a couple of our homies. Um, and uh, I'm basically just going to use those mushrooms, the pretty ones, for tomorrow's K BBQ. She's fine. She's fine. Oh, it's a little ugly. Well, mm, this one seems well. This one seems okay. Do this. Mm. Yeah, this. One. This kind of ugly. This one's a little ugly too. Okay. All right. Uh, so these guys. Well, this one. Mm. Yeah, I don't like that one. This one, there's one over here that like kind of passed the vibe check. Okay, yeah. All right, we're just gonna use these guys. I'm gonna put these away for right now. Um, let's see. Doing good in North Carolina visiting family. Ooh, nice. Tell the family say hi. It makes it last longer. Yes, dilution is needed. Thank you so much. Yeah, I get it. Sometimes I'm like, okay, yes, it does make it last longer too, which is good. But like sometimes it's too, it's too extra. So you gotta like, gotta tame it down a little bit, you know. Ling, what's your favorite water? Okay, what do you mean? Are we talking about sparkling water? Are we talking about still water, water brands? Which, by the way, um, we are wanting um, to do a redo for our water taste test with uh, Just Call Me Blaze, my sister. Because um, she's been asking for a redo, and this time we do the waters at room temp. Because we know you guys have, you guys have opinions on water. <laughs> uh, I have to show you one of the three projects I'm making for you. Yes, if you want to send me pictures, Tony, feel free to text me. <laughs> Uh, why not make a popular Roaring Twenties dish with a cocktail stream? Oh, that might be fun too. Um, I don't know what what do people eat in the twenties? Is that is that like the the mayo um, era? Is that the everything? <laughs> is that the they put everything or mayo and everything or was it aspic? They put aspic in everything. Okay, this is our bag of mushrooms for tomorrow. We're gonna have mushrooms. Oh my god, yeah, because we have to make this. Look how many mushrooms. Look how many mushrooms are in this bag. This is like my mushroom bag. Oh, pro tip. I learned this the other day. If you want to uh, keep your mushrooms for longer and not let them get slimy, when you get home, empty them into a brown paper bag. And then you can just kind of, you don't have to, don't like tightly seal it, but leave enough room, you know, just kind of like loosely seal this. It uh, doesn't trap moisture in and it will prevent your mushrooms from getting super slimy. And I found out it's actually worked. This is the first time I've tried it out. I watch a lot of Epicurious, so. I learned that from Epicurious. Uh, why not, okay, that would be awesome. Uh, Cold water going to room temp is the best. It has a certain flavor with it. Yeah, so that's what Monica was, or that's what Blaze was saying too. Is um, she felt like certain water, the water tastes, you can taste more in a room temp water, which I feel like is pretty accurate. Okay, I don't know. So these basically, you can, you could just look to make sure they don't have like dirt and like weird shit on them. This one, that one was kind of weird. We're just gonna make sure they don't have any dirt on them and then we're just gonna cut off. But they don't look particularly dirty, so I don't think we have to really run them through the like wash or anything. So yeah. Um spaghetti meatballs, Waldorf salad, clam chowder, baked ham, deviled eggs, pineapple upside down cake, chicken a la king. Ooh. I'm just gonna, okay, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna kinda have to ask really, like, cause then we'll just go in and like cut. Yeah, we'll just do that. <laughs> I say Waldorf salad. Much, what is a, what's in a Waldorf salad? I didn't know deviled eggs was a prohibition thing. I feel like deviled eggs have started to become more, more popular as of recent. I don't know where it came from, but like, basically the speakeasies and the cocktail bars that I go to are like, higher-end places have deviled eggs 
now. I know they're easy to make, so there's that. But I'm like, where where did where did they come from? Where y'all? Why why are we doing this? Wildflower, are you here? <laughs> uh, we need a we need a recipe for Waldorf uh, Waldorf salad. <laughs> Learn something new. I had to tell my sister about it. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know that either. I was like, oh, I have to keep it in the original packaging so that it stays fresh. So, but but with the plastic wrap over it, it doesn't it it becomes slimy. So if you put it into a brown paper bag, it will prevent it from being slimy. Uh, now that we brought up water, I should go wash my water bottle, get some water. I don't remember the last time I actually drank water. I've been so busy with Christmas presents, I may be drinking coffee. It's okay, you get a pass this time, but yes, get you some water, I have. All right guys, this is a water break. Everybody get your water in. Ah. Chicken noodle soup? Okay. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Put the soda on the side. Chicken noodle soup. And then, once again, we are gonna just try to mince these guys up. Same way that we did the onions. These baby king oyster mushrooms are so stinking cute. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> oh, fuck. Chicken noodle soup? Would, I feel like chicken noodle soup and cocktails is not a fun combination, though. <laughs> Deviled eggs would be fun. We can do our own spin on them. I've actually never... Shit, I don't think I've made... Well... I saw, uh, when the speakeasy first opened, I did help out in the kitchen for a little bit, and I made their deviled eggs. Um, but I've actually never made my own recipe for deviled eggs. So, that might be a fun thing to do. Cutting the mushrooms is a lot more fun than cutting the, uh, onions and... <laughs> the onions and the, the garlic. <laughs> Uh, sad girl time for Tony Oni. My small fire pit I made broke again. Oh no! Can you fix it? Right, there's a couple of like larger bits, but for the most part, this seems to be pretty. It's getting down there. Check her out! Check her out! Look at her go! Look at her go. This is like kind of kind of therapeutic. <laughs> Cutting up mushrooms. It'd be cool if I had two knives and I could like do the this. You know what I'm talking about? I can do it like this. That's as close as I'm gonna get. I hope again. Otherwise, I'll have to remake it again for the third time. Aw! If you do have to make it, maybe third time's a charm? It doesn't help that, again, my knife is not as sharp as I would like it, so. Yeah. Check her out. I think she's. I think she's basically good. 
There's a couple of like beef urchins, but I don't think we'll live. They're mushrooms. I think biting into a mushroom is a lot more pleasant than biting into a raw onion or like a big hunk of onion. So we're just gonna call it done. <laughs> okay, so these mushrooms are going to go into... Remember how I said I uh, should watch our filling because I'm gonna make too much filling? I think I've made too much filling. <laughs> because we still have to cut up the tofu. Which, I mean, I guess I could just, like, save the filling and then, um, put it in different things. We'll just do that. We'll just... We, we can, we'll just put the filling in different things. <laughs> okay. Uh, so whenever I am scooping up things off of my cutting board, I am using the back of my knife. Because when you're scraping it up, just be careful, you know, th this is the sharp side up. But um, when you're scraping up, if you use the sharp side to try to scrape things up, it will uh, dull your knife blade. So just be careful. That's why I use the back of my knife to pick things up off of the cutting board. And these other projects are going good. Good! I'm glad the other ones are going well. Okay. Um, We got this. So we got mushroom, onion, garlic. We got one, oh, we got, oh shit. This might just be a mushroom filling. Okay, I'll ask you guys. So we got one more set of mushrooms to go. Are there two when I have to wash them? Yes! Whenever you're washing cutting boards, you can use the back of the knife and then scrape things off, and then you won't dull the knife either. So we've got this amount of mushroom in here. Again, we only have this amount of... I should have gotten two of these. Should I still add the tofu into this? I also can just do half of this, and then just put the other half into like a soup. That might be... That might be the strat, actually. Look, so after they've been dehydrated, they look kind of like this. So they actually full turn fully dark. They turn fully black now instead of like brown on one side, black on the other. Um, they almost kind of feel like they're, they, I'm trying to pick it. They're like big. If you can kind of see this right here, they almost kind of feel velvety. They feel a little bit like velvet. They remind me of guinea pig ears, actually. They're called wood ear mushrooms because they kind of look like ears. But yeah, it's like got a velvety texture. A little chewy whenever you do eat it. Um, okay, so here's the dealio. I think... I think we're gonna keep some of these. We're not gonna use all of these because, once again, I, um... I overestimate it. <laughs> We're gonna keep some of the bigger ones to put into soup. Also, this is a kind of a hard part. Okay, we're gonna cut up these ones here and put into the the filling. But I think these guys can probably. Oh, this one's also kind of. This one's kind of janky right here. Maybe, yeah, I might make like a small soup with these guys. So I'll put these guys over here. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna cut up, we're gonna cut up these ones, add those into the, the dumpling filling. And then I'm gonna keep those guys and just kind of make a really quick soup with them. We'll just, we'll just put them over here. We'll put them over here for right now. Uh, Oysters, Oysters Rockefeller was extremely popular back in the morning. What is that one? 
Is that where... Is that the... Uh, they take the oysters and they put like... You like bake it, basically? Excuse me. Okay, this one's kind of... We gotta do a little bit of freestyling when we chop in this. There's not really a, a rhyme or reason because they're already all kind of odd shapes. They have a very like woodsy smell. It smells fresh. It's like a fresh woodsy smell. Very clean. Kind of neutral smelling, actually. Yep, we're just gonna... Woodier mushrooms. I'm a texture person, so I like to eat things when, especially if they have fun textures. And woodier mushrooms kind of have that like kind of uh, they're like sproingy. So chewy isn't the quite the right word because it's got a chew and a bite to it. Um, I don't know how else to describe it, but they are very to me. They are very fun to eat. Uh, yes, it's like baked oysters with some certain ingredients. If we can get the oysters sourced from uh, one of our local seafood sourcers, or seafood sources, seafood places, um, I think trying oysters Rockefeller sounds pretty fun. Are there non-dairy versions though? I want to say oh, we can also like substitute out the dairy because a lot of things are cheese based, which means Trey wouldn't be able to have it unfortunately. Spinach dip, ooh. Finished cleaning my water, and that drink of water was amazing. Yeah, cheers. Thank you for the hydrate, by the way. Ooh, spinach dip. I will never say no to a good spinach dip, especially, ooh, if it's spinach artichoke. I love artichoke. It's one of my faves. Okay. This basically has been cut up. She's all cut up. And we're just gonna toss her into a bowl. These are definitely gonna be protein packed. <laughs> we got two sets of mushrooms and some tofu that's about to go in. Oysters Rockefeller. Oyster sounds good right now, actually. I've been craving seafood recently. Pretzels! Like uh, like the soft pretzels or um, like pretzel sticks and stuff? Okay, for my soup, I am gonna like, I'm just gonna kind of like cut them into large slivers. I'm gonna make a tamarind soup. It's like a kind of similar to hot and sour soup if you guys have seen it. Uh, it's very popular at like Chinese buffets next to the egg drop soup. Um, but I'll do like a version of uh, that. Uh, rolled go yeah yeah that's right that's right ooh flavored pretzel sticks actually might be a fun thing for Trey's work to have because you can totally excuse me uh what the fuck oh paper towel. it's a little it's a little wet so I'm just gonna kind of dry her up a little bit I'm also gonna Dry my blade off a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you can like come up with different like house made pretzel um, what's it called? Pretzel flavorings, and then you can toss them in like pretzel sticks, that'd be pretty cool. Do you guys like pretzel sticks? Are you a pretzel stick or a little mini pretzel 
person. You know, I'm talking about like the little tiny pretzels or the regular pretzels. I like, there's a certain pretzel, I think it's Schneider's. My sister likes to eat it. She introduced it. The Schneider's Pieces. There's like a buffalo piece one that's really good. It's one of my favorites. And then the the honey mustard ones are really good too. I, I think there's like regular honey mustard um, like pretzel sticks. Okay. Last but not least, we got our tofu. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, I'm gonna put them in a paper towel. And try to, I'm gonna try to dry off these tofu blocks, these little tofus as much as I can. Because, again, we wanna make sure that the insides of our dumpling fillings are pretty dry. We're just gonna just like swish. Yeah, honey mustard. That was actually where I first I had my first taste of honey mustard was through the I think it was rolls golds, rolls golds like the the pretzels. I was like it was like a flavored pretzel. I was like oh my god, this is so fucking good. What is it? Because you know I grew up in an Asian household, so we didn't have condiments like. Um, honey mustard in the house growing up. So I was, when I had it first, I was like, oh my, yo, this is awesome. Some kind of goal. Just pretzel sticks are my favorite. Thin and small pretzels are nicer for me. I agree. Um, I think I like the thin pretzel shaped ones. They're, they're thin. Because um, again, texture, the texture is fun. And I'm a big soft pretzel gal, actually. I really like soft pretzels. Um, but obviously we're not talking about that, but yeah, if it's thinner, if it just like, like breaks apart more and it's not, if it's more crunchy and less like a cracker, I tend to like the, I tend to like the, uh, the, those pretzels better. Is studying history fascinating? So I actually had a conversation with my sister yesterday, um, uh, about how growing up, I was not a history person. Like, I think it's because it was really overwhelming trying to memorize everything that they were trying to get you to memorize in school. So it was super overwhelming and I didn't enjoy history because there was just so many things to remember. But now that I'm actually a little older, I do have the appreciation for certain parts of history that I'm learning that correspond with like my interests. So drinks and food. They also have a history. It's not just like, about white people that rolled up to the United States or to the to the Americas and was claimed them because they they wanted to or whatever, right? It's like, oh well, back during this day, this is how this food could have been created. And like, um, I love the the story behind the creation of potato chips. If you guys haven't heard it, it was like. There was some dude, so it involved some type of rich dude that kept asking for potato, like he, he wanted potato slices um, and uh, kept asking for the slices to be thinner from the whoever was cooking it. So the, the, the person that was cooking was like, bro, fuck you, fine. And like cut the potato slices as thin as they possibly could and then like cook them. And that's how, like, I think that was like one of the very first iterations of potato chips was because some dude was like, I hate this guy right now. I'm going to show you thin potato slice and then like create a potato chips. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I was like, I, I know some, some iteration of that story. Yeah. He was like, bro, these, these, uh, potatoes are too thick. So the, the cook was like, do you think they're too thick? I'll show you too thick. <laughs> I used to watch um, Unwrapped. Uh, did you did you guys watch that show growing up? Do, do, do. Oh wait, that's Good Eats. Do, 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 do. Good Eats. This is tofu. We're just cutting up tofu. Uh, the chef's name was George Crump. Thank you. Yeah. See splits, y'all. That's cool. That's cool. What's another uh, What's another food origin story that you guys like? That's always a, the first one that that pops into my head. I think. I also know the sandwich one was like sandwiches were created because um, 
people wanted to play cards and also eat at the same time so they like wanted a one-handed food item that still had you know there wasn't just a snack i think i think is what i remember the popsicle okay do tell Cutting up this tofu. This tofu cut up. It's cut up very thin, actually, and it does. It doesn't feel too wet, which is good. Esther, hello. How are you? Thank you so much for the biddies. Oh, hold up. Here's the biddy dance. You can see me up in the this corner. This corner right here. Thank you so much for the biddies. How are you doing, Esther? Happy holidays, by the way. We're doing a little dumpling stream with Lee. Happy holidays to y'all. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm finally feeling better from being sick basically all last week. It was the first time I had ever been bedridden sick before. I've never, I've never had that experience in my life and I hated it. It was terrible. So, um, finally, this is like the most normal I felt, um, you know, the, I basically have no pain in my throat from like coughing and stuff. I do still have like this pesky cough that's still here. It's super annoying. And like, you can kind of hear me, I'm a little congested with some mucus, but other than that, I'm feeling a lot better. So that's good. How are you? How have things been? Okay, so we basically cut up, or we chopped up our tofu. This is the rest, the rest of our tofu. We're gonna add it to our mix here. This feels kind of nice. Yeah, I have too much filling. Uh, we should have known, y'all. We should have known. was playing a game took a break got stuff from the market nice what were you playing uh, okay so here's our here's our feeling so far we are obviously going to add some um seasonings <laughs> so i'll put that here so you guys can see that spider-man 2 nice i know trey loves to swing on that game and he'll pick different songs and like swing to the songs i like to watch him it's a lot of fun uh did you finish it what, what do you think about it uh it's okay too much feelings means extra for later or add one for a different meal i think i think you're correct tony you're correct i'm over here like oh i have too much but uh, feeling one of those things where you can definitely like, it's very versatile uh, a kid named Frank Epperson accidentally left his powdered lemonade soda outside with the mixing stick. Next morning, he found it, but it was frozen. Oh, that's fun! Because it is a pop... I didn't know... I I, I actually thought popsicles might have been one of those intentional trying to look for something. But, like, <laughs> that's so cute! I haven't beat it yet, but I'm getting close. Ooh, okay. Does anybody want... Is anybody playing Spider-Man currently? Because I'm about to ask you... I'm about to ask Esther questions because if you are going to play, don't want spoilers, don't read this. <laughs> but uh, what part are you on? Like, what's happening? What's currently happening in the story? Uh, I need a mixing stick. <laughs> laid out he's like halfway on his cow <laughs> he's like big chilling right now <laughs> that's carl barks ladies and gentle people uh finish the flame side quest where we get to oh yeah 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 that was pretty dope actually I don't know as much lore as Trey does about Spider-Man. He's like the Spider-Man guy, right? But, um, oh, this is like so pretty. Okay, anyway, I gotta, <laughs> I can season this bitch. Um, all right, uh, we're obviously gonna do, we got some salt. Just gonna add a little pinch in there. 
got some MSG. Just a little, a little sprinkle in there. Uh, I'm also gonna do, I'm actually gonna do white pepper instead of black pepper. So we're just gonna kinda put that in there. Right, the colors are actually really pretty. I don't know really you're doing this. Sweet baby, just tired from barking at the knit, right? He's so tired of harassing our neighbors. I don't know, man. You know how, like, people say that animals know better, right? Because I do believe that. And I've told you guys this before, but, like, these are neighbors on this side right here. He loves our neighbor to the, the left of us. Like, he's homies with him and, like, loves him and, like, always wants to check out the cats and stuff. But, like, the ones on the other side of us, they moved in. It's been like months now, like probably at least half a year now, but he's just never, Bruce never liked them. Like he even knows when their car pulls up and he will always yell at them. And just like, I don't, they, they're not, they haven't been rude. They haven't, but like they're a little, not, not standoffish, but they're, they're a little just, they keep to themselves, which is fine. You know, you don't have to be knit friends with everybody. Um, but like, bro does not like them. Like and every time he will see, he will, always bark at them i'm like what does he know that we don't <laughs> um oh okay so i need We got some golden mountain seasoning sauce. It's kind of like a soy sauce. I'm just gonna go a little bit in here, not too much. We're gonna do some regular soy sauce. Oh, where is this? Soy sauce. Uh, nachos was created by a group of military wives into a restaurant named the Victory Club. Unable to find the cook, he saw tortilla chips and then decided to add whatever ingredients he could find. <laughs> I love that. It's literally just like, shit, I gotta make something. Here we go. Can you imagine that happens to you? You're like, well, I just have to improv and try my best. And then it turns out to be like literally a revolutionary cuisine, like a staple dish in modern day time. Isn't that crazy? That'd be so cool. I have dark soy sauce. Just a little bit of this, mostly for color. She's thick, you can see she's thick. So we got that. We're gonna do some uh, paprika, a little bit of paprika. I am actually gonna add, I think we got some oyster sauce. I'm feeling oyster sauce. We got king oyster mushrooms, so I feel like oyster sauce is like an appropriate thing. This is my favorite brand of oyster sauce, in case you guys would uh, like to know. I think it's a Thai brand. Let me try to get it to focus. Focus! <laughs> okay. We're gonna do just kind of like a little drizzle in here, but again, not too much. We don't want Back in the fridge she goes. It was a maitre d' named Ignacio uh, Anaya. Nice. He literally was like, I got, I gotta do this. 
Y'all, it's <laughs> it's now or never. These people are hungry. Ooh, this smells good. Look at this. It's like it's so pretty. Like I was not expecting it to be this pretty. Um, oh, and then we're gonna balance it out a little bit since I did add a lot of savory components. We're gonna add just a little pinch of sugar. Just a little bit. Nacho is Spanish for Ignacio. Wait, is it really? I, don't, I think you might be pulling my foot there. <laughs> Yanking my chain. Um, okay. All right, so I've got salt, a mix of soy sauces, oyster sauce, a little pinch of um, uh, MSG and sugar, paprika. I don't think this really needs anything else. Maybe, mm, should I add a little bit of sesame? What do we think? Yes, it's true, or short for it, not Oh, real? <laughs> okay, now that if I say it that way, I can totally see that. Or again, you're just yanking my chain. But yeah, that's 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 also cool to have the whole dish named after you, right? Like that's that's really neat. That's so cool. The more you know. See, I like history like that. I feel like it's really cool. I really enjoy learning the history of like food, history of cuisine. Um, drinks are also really cool too because that's that's like Trey's forte. All right, um, it smells good. I honestly think she's fine. I think I'm gonna kind of err on the side of well, okay. Should we? Oh, idea. Should we make one dumpling now, try her out, and then see how it tastes, and then adjust the filling? I think that might be pretty smart, right? I am gonna kind of clear off this. That I feel like that's smart. We're we're gonna try that. <laughs> so. Here, let me let me bring you over here. You can see that everything over here. There we go. Okay. All right, we got a stove cam going on now. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open this up. Where's my knife? <laughs> if um, I didn't have enough filling. <laughs> howdy, howdy. Hey, dragon. How's it going? How are you? Happy holidays, by the way. Merry Christmas! Uh, just got done with family's Christmas. Doing great. Good! So how's the fam? Um, I need... Mm -hmm. 
So I got a bowl of water. I don't need this knife, so the knife is gonna go away. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I do need a small spoon. I give you guys full permission to laugh at me if I don't have enough filling for all of these. <laughs> Dramas always, specifically my sister-in-law, but that was the only drama. Okay, we'll take, if drama is inevitable, we will at least take the little, the least amount possible. Okay, so, so maybe you guys can see this. We're gonna go in like this, okay? I think that might be too much, but we'll find out. We're gonna take our water and kind of wet one side. And we're gonna fold this over. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, okay. Okay, fold this over on itself. And the water should help it seal. So it looks like a, like a little empanada right now. Okay, like a little half moon. And to pleat them, I actually am not very good at pleating dumplings. I always try, but I start on one end, kind of make this motion here, and press. I also feel like my, my fingers might be a little powdery. And then I just keep doing that. I'm trying to I'm trying to basically wet this part right here so that it sticks. But we'll pleat this way and then basically just keep on keep on pleating until you reach the end. Okay, kind of give it like a little press. I think I probably could put a little bit more filling in it, honestly. But here's dumpling number one. We're gonna give her a test try because we want to see if the filling is tasty. So over here, got a little bit of oil in the pan. Just gonna kind of spread that around a bit, but we literally just need one side. But got one little side right here, and we're just gonna let her go. Just the one. She's a little sizzly. Um, wanna hear what I got? Sorry, I got kind of, yeah, let's hear it. What you got? Okay, yeah, before we continue forth, I'm gonna let that cook. We're gonna taste the filling after it's been cooked in a dumpling and see if it needs to be adjusted. But I will spread out my wrappers. I feel like this is aha, it is too. Hmm. I think I might just boo boo the fool. I might be boo boo the fool. <laughs> We're like, I don't think I have enough filling. Or I think I have too much filling. I don't know. I might not have enough. <laughs> Oh, wouldn't that, I give you guys full permission to laugh at me if it actually happens. Look at them, like, they're like paper thin. Okay. Yeah, we might be in trouble. I think, I don't think we actually, there's a lot more in here than I thought. There's way more in here than I thought. They subscribe for 40 months. Let's get it, baby. Merry Omo Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, friend. How are you? Thank you so much for joining. We're just making dumplings. We're attempting to make dumplings, at least. Uh, got me two new sweater vests. One maroon, one kind of goldish yellow. Ooh, okay. Uh, unmentionables. Okay. A set of D&D books. Um, Cuban original cologne. Ooh, a cookbook. Cedar walking stick has a lot of meaning. Oh, nice. Tony, uh, you're a fan of cedar, aren't you? Is that one of your favorite woods? Or unless I'm remembering cor incorrectly. Um, a new dark navy suit and a $25. Damn, all right, dragon. Yeah, that's a good haul right there. Love that. Happy Honda days. Just got back home from dinner with the fam. Nice, nice. What was for dinner? I'm trying really hard not to break these. These are way 
these are way thinner than I thought they were going to be. I was looking at the stack. So if you look at the stack, I'm like, oh man, it does because they look kind of big, right? Those aren't a sing. Those aren't singles. These are. I had to pull them apart. <laughs> so that's why I thought. <laughs> that's why I thought there wasn't going to be enough, but there's absolutely way more than I thought there was going to be. <laughs> uh, what's your opinion on cedar? Um, cedar wood. Because the dragon just got a cedar walking stick. I was making coffee at the moment. Oh, you're good. How's the coffee? Oh, God. Yeah, I gotta be patient. Oh, perfect. Awesome. I will check that out after stream because my hands are definitely... Ah, oh, I ripped it! My hands are dirty. Now my fridge is starting to yell at me. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. She's a little... Whatever. Worse for me. Alright, we need a lid. The lid. Patrick, the lid. The lid. Too big. There we go. Okay? <laughs> I'm doing all this for one. Actually, I think I can lower this so you guys can see it. There we go. It's beautiful. It has some strips of readiness sometimes. It smells great. Okay, I, I thought I remembered it right. I know that you're into wood burning and there's like certain woods that you like better than others. So I was like, yeah, I, was, I think she likes cedar, so I thought I'd ask. Aww. I love good, meaningful gifts like that, too. That's awesome, though, that you were able to receive that. It said that these were easy to peel. Ugh. We're gonna be here for a minute. I'm a little toasted, popped the edible, for, and I felt like I was super weird. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming and joining, even though you are a little toasty. <laughs> You're welcome to be toasty around us. We are not judging. That uh, that dumpling is going going wild right now. Going buck wild. Yeah. See, I thought this was one whole dumpling. I was like, yeah, we have way too much filling, but I think we might be approaching the perfect amount of filling. Unless I'm not supposed to be. But, I mean, they are coming out, so. A part of me was like, wait, am I supposed to be peeling these? Shit. Uh-oh. This one might just have to be a chunky. Well, actually, hold up. Patience. Patience. It's like peeling a sticker. No! Okay, wait, 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 wait. I said patience as I proceed to... No! Shit. Okay, I can at least salvage one. <laughs> this will be a pain in the ass. Okay, we got one. This one, she's a little... This one also, I think, broke too. All right. These are the ones that are a little... A little... A little sketch. Um, long weeks. I'm feeling good. Awesome. This stream is perfect. Okay, <laughs> playing Link. You're going off. Okay. Thank you, Ram Kip. Yeah, I was gonna say it, it's one of those like um oddly satisfying things. Perfect circles. Munch them raw. I will. I mean, you want me to try one raw? <laughs> All right. Obviously, there's everything in here. Ta da! Do you guys see that? what this little guy looks like. Okay, we're just gonna let him. We're gonna let our cool off. Yeah, cause like these seem to be really stuck together.
So yeah, I'm like, it's stuck together, but it does feel very thick. See, they, they come off like this. So am I supposed to unpeel them? <laughs> I I am Dragon, actually. Good ears. Uh, T-Pain just dropped a, a new album cover, like, or cover, an album of covers, and he had, uh, he covered Tennessee Whiskey, and it sounds so good. It's stuck in my head. Um, I probably used to have a collection of walking sticks. There's an old picture of him and I walking to the goat barn with two walking sticks. And I used to go to a bluegrass festival together and have a vendor who sells cedar walking sticks. I bought one every year since it passed. Kind of a memory, but the vendor wasn't there this year. My sister went yard sale the other day, looking for the stick, and found the vendor's- <gasps> Oh my god! Yo, I- I'm pretty- I think I just got chills. Holy shit. That is so cool, though. Yo! Dude, that is so fucking cool. I'm about to tear up for you. Holy shit. Your paw really was like, no, you gotta get your stick this year. Oh, dude, that's so awesome. I'm also, that's also cool that your sister found the, found the, the vendor too. Cause sometimes it's hard, especially if they don't have socials and stuff to be able to find the people that you want to like be able to purchase from, especially at craft fairs and stuff. Okay guys, I, Am I supposed to be peeling these apart? I feel like I'm supposed to, but they come off so evenly like this that a part of me feels like I'm not supposed to, but they feel hella thick. I don't know, bro. See? Oh, wait. Oh. Yeah, never mind. I think it's supposed to be. Uh, they just happened on them TBA. They were just out looking for it, but didn't know where they were. See, like that's so cool. Uh, my, not my. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. That that's just. I love how serendipitous that was. It was like literally, it was just meant to be. That's so cool. And like Tony said too, I bet it's gorgeous if it's. See mm. You. I just picked a really, I picked a really jank pack of dumpling wrappers, I guess. Look, see, like, <laughs> bruh. Okay. That one kind of works. This one, we'll put it over there. Okay. We do have, okay. Here's one dumpling. Obviously this would be with like soy sauce. I would have a dipping sauce with it, but here's one dumpling. We're gonna try out this to see what the filling tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. I'm trying to get it to like focus. Okay, the filling, the texture-wise, there. Definitely, okay, it definitely needs more seasoning, though. What's filling? So it's got two different types of mushrooms, onions, garlic, um, and tofu. But this definitely needs some more um, seasoning. Mmm. 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 What? What? Hmm. I think it needs a little bit, yeah. I think she needs a little bit more seasoning. I think we should do pepper. Thank you, Tony. All right. We're gonna add a little bit more dark soy sauce. A little bit more Gold Mountain. Probably a little bit more salt. I'm 
actually, all right. Let me let me let me just do a baby pinch of salt. Fucked up one here. We're basically just gonna eat dinner by sampling dumplings. <laughs> See, like, there's a hole in it, though. Maybe if I do it, like, tortellini style. <laughs> I just made a... I just made a tortellini, y'all. <laughs> the, the fuck am I doing? <laughs> okay. Alright, well, we're gonna put this tortellini in here. Hmm, actually. Actually, that might not, might not be a good idea. Yeah, the knife is not a good idea. What the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, do showcase. Gotta yeah, show off your walking stick. Okay, these might just be some thick ass dumplings in. Because there's like no, like, if you guys can see this, there's no point in. Well, maybe there is. Nah, not this one. Like. What the fuck? Cute little tortellini. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'll check out your walking stick too once in a or after stream. I bet the cedar is so pretty. Okay. I'm trying so hard. Package said easy peel. This is not easy. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm quiet right now. I'm so focused on this. No! 
Oh shit. It's leaking. She's leaking. Yay, it makes me excited to take a look at them. I have a feeling that with a little bit more of the seasoning, this will be good. Okay, like you guys can see that. Uh, if anything, the attempt is here. Because out of every one that I have to like to peel out, I get at least one of them. It's just the other one kind of gets fucked in the process. We got the tortellini on the stove right now again to test out the. Uh, Filling. Please. I'm trying to figure out if maybe the heat from my hands is helping peel it or if it's making it worse. I do have naturally warm hands, so. We got two of these here. Oh. Love that for us. This is really a true test of patience. Oh my god. I don't know why the holiday gods decided to test me. I mean, I guess we're not in a hurry. We're not going anywhere. But like, also, why? other traditions I'm going to come up with for another people class. I don't think that's morbid. I think that's a genuine like curiosity thing though. Like, hey, yeah, go. I wonder. I wonder what is going to happen. You know. I think that's a that's a very well curious thing to to think about. I'm glad that this year wasn't skip for you. I was meant to be. Do you guys have any um? Like holiday traditions that you do, things that you look forward to, or just like things that you do around this time of the year. It doesn't have to be holiday, like or like birthday traditions even too. Like I'll take just like a, something that you enjoy doing, you know, methodically, or that happens at a specific point or part of the year. This is basic, but I always have to have a drink on my birthday. My birthday is not complete without a drink. It doesn't matter what the drink is. I feel like there's something very specific that I do. That's a tradition. We host a uh, Friendsgiving every year, but I, I feel like that's... Ah, oh, shit.
Okay, well, this is the closest that we're getting. I think she'll still... I think she'll still work. She'll just be a little fucked up. Uh, not really anymore since both my parents are gone. Ah, got it, got it. Well, now you've got the, uh... Uh, that's honestly why I kind of want to start some new traditions with my family, if I ever have one. Yeah! I feel like that'll be a fun thing. It also doesn't have to have, you know, like... Uh, it's... Traditions are one of those things where if you want to start them, I feel like you should, you know, like Something that's like important to you or like something that you just like want to do, you know Oh yes, okay. Bro, look at this fucking stack I have to get through. I'm mad! <laughs> well, like I said before, I guess we're not going anywhere, so Yeah Sorry, this isn't the most exciting stream. I, I wasn't planning on having to... I mean, I was planning on having to peel a, a, a gyoza wrappers. Just not to this extent. <laughs> Alright, after I get this one peeled, I'm gonna go try out the uh, little tortellini. Well, honestly, if you're screwing up at least one of them each time, would it not be better just to use them as is? So, I was thinking that too. I think, I think that might just have to be the strat. Um, I think the the only problem is I'm a little concerned because it's so they're so thick. Like these guys are chunky, so I don't know how they're gonna cook. We also could just try cooking one in one. And then just see how it tastes, the, the texture is. Because, yeah, if I'm just like basically fucking up one every time, then I'm, I'm not gaining anything because I'm fucking up one. <laughs> um, Christmas, I look forward to getting my cats one Christmas toy stocking from Walmart. I've been ever since my first cat was alive. She passed away eight years ago, but I do it for my current ones now. Last year was the only year I missed because they stopped selling them the week before Christmas. Aww. Uh, felt like a failure that year. Not my fault though, but it happened. Yes, I was like, that's not your fault. That's obviously them. Retailers over here being dumb dumb. But that's sweet. I know that, I know your, your, your kitty babies are always well spoiled. We love that. Sometimes it's so nice buying things for your pets. Like, you know, they, they don't understand the concept of gifts and gift giving and stuff, but sometimes Trey and I like really look forward to getting Brew a thing, you know? Okay, these ones seem okay. All right, let's test out our tortellini over here. Ow! Ow, shit! Ah! Fuck! All right, here's our little, little tortellini. could use a little bit more seasoning, but if we're gonna use a dipping sauce with it, I'm gonna leave it as is. That's good. Okay, how many more of these bitches do we have left? So there's 12 of these. I feel like I should attempt to do these though, because I do think that if we use them as is, it's just gonna be too thick. Mm, traditions I want to start with my future family are actually Christmas Eve things, like the Icelandic Jola Boka food. 
They exchange books with families on Christmas Eve and then also do Christmas. Oh, I love that! That sounds so cozy! I like the idea of a book exchange too. See if this knife is actually gonna work. Yep. I actually helped out Wildflower the other day. Um, my nephew is going to receive a uh, Spider-Man bicycle for uh, for Christmas this year and. Uh, I can't. I can't remember the last time I actually put together a bike. So that was a that was more of an adventure I thought than I thought it was gonna be, but it was definitely handleable. <laughs> Whenever it peels this way, I almost like want to make like tacos or like like hot pockets. You know, it looks like a like a hot pocket. <laughs> I'm also do the do the Santa things and then reading a Christmas story with my kids. Yeah. I think reading to kids is so important. Like, it really instills the whole value of like how fun reading can be and like, I don't know, like books are cool, man. My, the heat from my, it just depends on the dumpling wrapper because the ones that are a little wet I mean not wet the ones that are a little dry actually on the outside just aren't peeling as well which you know makes sense um my fire pit broke to all heck and back ah fourth time's a charm all right we got this baby fourth time the charm These are usable, okay? Oh my god, what a pain in the ass. Holy shit. Okay, now the problem is, ah, shit. Now the problem is these have been sitting out for a little bit, so I think they might be getting dry. So we have to reevaluate our plan real quick. Alosa said, hi! All right, let's start filling these so that they can be pliable. Okay, we're gonna fill up these guys. Yeah, these are definitely getting ready to. Oh yeah, we definitely. I think I made too much filling. No, no Ming, you did not. You might not have enough filling. <laughs> You guys might have full, might have full permission to laugh at me. Okay. 
why bother cooking them? Leave them raw so you can call them dumpling tartare. <laughs> I, I'm trying to think of everything in here. I think you can eat. Oh shit. Fuck. Look, I left them out for too long, so now they're breaking. Ah! This is way. This is not how I was planning it. Ah. Uh, okay. These ones are dry. They cannot be pleated without getting fucked. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave these. <laughs> we're just gonna leave these unpleated. I might be able to do just like a pleat in the middle. We're just gonna leave them unpleated because they will break. Yeah, these bitches gonna break. Everybody, everybody's breaking. We're, we're all, we're all going through it right now. So the strat was to not leave them out because they dry. So. We are going to not pleat these guys. And we're just going to leave them looking like this. It's okay. This is a learning experience. Like I said, I haven't made dumplings in a hot minute, so I'm a little rusty. But now I know better. <laughs> oh god. They're so, guys, they're so dry. Holy shit. So dry. They look like a, <laughs> they kind of look like pierogies. Well, at least if they're flat like this, they'll have like, a nice surface area to get crispy. Shit! See? They over here just break it and shit. They're so dry. They're like dry. They're like dry, dry guys. They're kind of bad because these are the ones that actually like peel proper. more of the dry batch. This is pierogi batch one. <laughs> I do like pierogies though. Pierogies are yummy. Pierogies are basically, they're like potato dumplings, right? I don't exactly know what they are. I get them from Aldi. They are yummy. They're filled with potatoes usually, which you can't go wrong with a potato. Okay, so these, what, these are what these guys look like. The ones that are fucked. you always you progress is well, practice makes progress okay so I'm gonna go ahead and place these guys in the freezer uh, <laughs> I don't know where to put them uh, maybe if I do 
But I'll put them in here so that I can place them in the, uh, the, what's it called? The freezer. And then once they freeze separately, I can put them into a bag so that it, they don't, uh, you know, freeze to each other. All right. Into the freezer, he's <laughs> time Trey gets home from work. Okay, let's let's try out these guys. <laughs> look at how gnawed these look. They look so Oh my god. Okay. All right, these already feel a little bit more pliable, so we're gonna try doing pleats with them. All right, we got the we got the little baby pleats going on. Not not too bad. These are like baby dumplings. They're like baby. Look at them. Little babies. It's just a little baby. And it's just a little baby. I will say this filling is actually pretty nice. It's a very solid filling. Or, uh, you know, basically dumping in what we had in the fridge into a dumpling. That's pretty solid. I can't believe that I'm actually probably gonna run out of food, though. <laughs> I could make more. Should I, though? Should I make more? Basically, what I would do is I would just add, I would just add mushrooms. You guys saw how much mushroom he had. Alright, 
this one's gonna be a pierogi. Because he's broken in the middle. Alright. I'm curious to see how the thick, the double sided one is gonna feel. Let's fry one up and we'll see how she goes. Just, we'll just see. We'll see how she goes. Okay, sorry, I know this is supposed to be chatty. I was extra concentrated because these dang freaking, these dang freaking, uh, uh, what's it called? Dumpling wrappers are janky. But I do appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me. Thank you. I really, I always appreciate you guys coming and chilling. Even if it's just a little bit, just to come say hi, or, you know, all the subs and and the follows and chit chatting and everything in between. I really appreciate you guys. Okay, this one's probably gonna be a pierogi too. Yeah, these are just gonna be pierogies. They'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just like so dry. It's because I peeled them. I didn't immediately use them. This is the part though that is nice to have like a sous chef or like a second pair of hands in the kitchen, because then while somebody is peeling the uh, the uh, dumpling wrappers, uh, you can have somebody filling them and then like pleating them so that they don't dry out. Got any hoisin? I do have, well, I have oyster. Let me check. Yes, I do have a little bit of hoisin in here. I think we should add some mushroom and then, um, what's it called? Add some mushroom and then some hoisin. What's your guys' favorite condiment? I feel like I ask this periodically, but what is your go-to condiment? One of Trey's favorite is chili crisp oil. That's like one of the ones that he's fallen in love with. What's the perfect dipping sauce for dumplings? I personally prefer a mix of um, soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, and a, just a touch of sesame oil. That's like my go-to when it comes to dumpling, uh, dipping, dipping dumpling, dipping, dumpling dipping sauce. <laughs> Some people do like it sweeter. So, um, there's like dumpling dipping sauces that you can get that kind of are kind of thicker at the store. I don't know what exactly goes on, goes in it, but, uh, some people do like that. Add a little bit of sugar. I'm not usually much for. I like tangy and savory. That those are like my favorite combos. Um, yeah. So Trey really likes chili crisp oil. That's one of his his favorites. I also really like it too. Um, oh yeah, because you guys you guys did see me make uh, chili oil the last time that I did stream. I made that on stream. Still, I have literally the tiniest little bit left. Just gonna have to make this. These are just gonna have to be one at a time. Hmm. I'm trying to think of my favorite condiment. I do like, I, I am a ketchup girl. I do like ketchup. You know, when in doubt, ketchup is usually a good 
go to if you're there like or if someone was like all right i'm gonna get you a condiment don't know what to get you and i don't like specify depending on what for the most part depending on what it is i will i won't say no to ketchup i like um whole grain mustard if we're talking mustard whole grain mustard it's again it's the texture oh it's so good i love the way it feels and i just like it better than just like the regular yellow mustard whole grain mustard is the way to go baby fancy mustard especially for charcuterie boards Ooh, so good Uh, I do like ranch. I like ranch better than blue dress blue dressing blue cheese dressing. I'll eat both though um, I used to not like blue cheese growing up. I guess it's just because I just had shitty blue cheese um, Okay, this is this is the double one we're about to fry her up and then just see how it goes I can't think of a go-to condiment, but I would use olive oil for salads and pastas. Yes! I also didn't appreciate a good, like a good quality olive oil until very recently as well. I was like, oh, you know, it's oil, you can get whatever, but like, you definitely can taste the differences in the quality of olive oils when, depending on, especially depending on what you're using it for, like the recipe and stuff. Because like, if you're using it for a dressing or where it it's supposed to be the main thing to shine, the better quality that the uh, olive oil is the way better it is for the, the recipe. Like in caprese, mm, little drizzle of olive oil and with tomatoes and cheese and basil. If it's high quality stuff, it tastes so good. It is so good. Bertoli's, yeah. Bertoli's is a good brand. That's a good go-to for me too. I'm moving these over so you guys can see them. That dumpling is, uh, that dumpling is gone. I also only recently found out, like, I always felt, I, I guess it's because it's, that's how it is in restaurants and stuff, but I didn't know that, uh, salad dressings could be, like, oil-based and stuff. I thought it always had to be, like, ranch you know uh honey mustard like the, the thick sauces like caesar i love a good caesar salad um but only very recently it like occurred to me wait i don't have to have thick sauces to go on my salads like i i can do an oil-based one and it'd be lighter because that's my jam okay Okay, now we've approached the I have to separate these. Or we'll see how it goes with uh, the doubles being, you know, cooked because we're frying up a double right now. A double wrap up. Okay, the knife is actually kind of helpful. Okay. Trey and I were it was super into uh, chopped salads for a little bit, and I do feel like chopped salads are the superior salad. Like. With everything that the that is all similar sizes and stuff and the texture it's just a 
It's just, I feel like it's such a better way to eat salad. Because the big hunks of lettuce are always what, like, gets me. Especially if there's, like, a... What's it called? If there's stems that are in there, too. It's just... It is not fun. Like, I love a good spinach salad. Spinach salad is one of my favorites. But if it's all chopped up and even has even amount of, you know, as you poke it with your fork and you get an even amount of things in your salad, I just feel like a chopped salad is just so much better. Uh, but yeah, we were on a, like a chopped salad kick for a little bit. So I gotta make sure to add. Again, I'm gonna make a tamarind soup. I have just like a little package, basically. A little instant package. I'm gonna make a soup and then toss the rest of that wood here in there and just kind of let it simmer and chill out. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is this is this is gonna be. It's gonna take a minute. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate you coming in and hanging out. <laughs> Have you guys eaten yet? I don't know what time it is for you guys, but if you've eaten, let me know what you had for dinner. If you haven't eaten yet, let me know what you're gonna eat for dinner. <laughs> okay, all right, got two. Yeah, we'll just, I guess we'll just do these two at a time. Eat some vanilla coffee and water for dinner, Tony. You do need some sustenance at some point. That is sustenance, but you need a different type of sustenance. <laughs> some coffee does sound good right now, though. I don't use... So, I love coffee. I'm definitely a coffee fan. I love coffee and tea. But I don't really drink coffee for the benefits of the caffeine. I'm not a... I don't need caffeine to run, you know, like I'm, I'm not dependent on caffeine or anything. I just really like the way coffee tastes. So I do enjoy a good, like, um, high quality. We have a lot of local coffee shops here where we live. I like to go in and like enjoy the actual like crafted coffees just because of the way it tastes. Okay. I guess two at a time is what's gonna be the, the dealio. I guess I just have to figure it out too, cause I am getting, I'm getting a little bit faster at separating these. And again, they're not, these ain't, these ain't pretty, but. Um, would you like to make Baked pork chops on rice, a popular dish in Cha Chang Teng, Hong Kong style cafe. Ooh, if you have a recipe for it, I would love to see it. I don't, rem I can't recall the last time I had pork chops, actually. Mm, it might have been in September when Fisty came out for a surprise visit. We had pork chops uh, from a farmer's market and those pork chops were so good. Like. It makes such a difference if you're able to get, like, farm fresh ingredients. Not just, like, uh, vegetables, but, like, meats and stuff. It's it's crazy, the difference between the supermarket and, like, farmer's market stuff. You know, like, fresh from the farm. I haven't had farm fresh eggs in a hot minute, though, so do miss that.
Yeah, see, I'm getting, I'm getting a little better at this. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. I ate chicken and dumplings two hours ago with hot sauce. Okay, all right, all right. All right, Tony, you get a pass. You were a pass. Ooh, chicken and dumplings sound good. Oh, did you see my, uh, wait, I think I sent you a picture of the tater noodle soup that I made. I hope I did you, uh, I hope I did you proud, even though I still fucked them up. Because I couldn't remember the recipe, right? Tater noodle soup also sounds good. Maybe I'm just hungry. Oops. Okay, this one fucks up a little bit. <laughs> Whoopsies! Uh, egg straight out the chicken's butt? Yeah! <laughs> Where'd my- oh, there it is. We do have a couple friends that have chickens, um, and they- they do, you know, like- organic feed and like take really good care of the chickens and like it i feel like i definitely can taste the difference you can also see the difference in the egg yolks too um versus the store-bought eggs i put in too much you tried and as long as it tastes good then all this matters thank you I did really try. I was like, shit, this sounds so good, but I, I think I kind of remember how to make it. I'm gonna try it. And I, I tasted it, I was like, this is not, this is not how she did it, but it's close and it'll do the trick for now. <laughs> I think about your stuffed peppers every now and then too. Literally the best stuffed peppers I've ever had. Like, ugh. I'm kind of, I'm kind of finicky when it comes to uh, stuffed peppers in general too, because I feel like stuffed peppers are one of those Easy to make dishes, hard to master. Easy to make, hard to master dishes. What's a what's a go to uh, comfort meal for you guys? Do you have a comfort meal? You're like, man, yeah, I just need I need a good bowl, a good plate of this. I'll never say no to a plate of you know this. All right, we have the big mama. Looks nice. Let's see. Okay, while I'm doing this, you guys will get a face cam. We're gonna, I'll be looking down, but we're gonna face cam so you don't just stare at my empty uh, stove. <laughs> Peppers are always an all day family event, at least taking three people worth of work. At least they're made with the, oh yes. You can taste the love in these. Oh, so good. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, there is a pot of boiling water that's on the stove right now. What I'm doing is I'm adding my tamarind soup mix. And my wood ear mushrooms. The rest of me wood ear mushrooms. Because I don't want to waste them. But quite frankly, I could have totally just added these into the... Into the filling. That looked delicious. I would try one, especially since the mushrooms and onions are finely chopped. Yeah! I'll have to make these for you the next time you uh, come up and we hang out. I am wanting a little fizz, though. So we're gonna... This is literally the first day I've also been able to have cold drinks. 
Oh, I think I said that at the beginning of the stream, but we got um, orange flavor sparkling water. Courtesy of Wildflower, thank you so much for your donation. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I'm trying to make sure that you guys see my face. There we go. Mm. Oh, delicious. Okay. Let's see how many more. Uh, let's see how many more of these we can do. We can finish these. I know we can. Trey should be back by now. Um, what time is it? Oh, my phone. Uh, oh, so he works at the, he, he doesn't work at, well, he still works at the distillery, but, uh, he, which, Splits, I don't remember if we've told you this or not. Uh, Trey is now the head bartender at a, a local speakeasy in town that opened up a couple months ago. And, um, they close at 11. So once they close at 11, then he's going to close after that and you know, and clean up. So he won't, he won't be back for a little bit, which I said, but the name of the game, whenever you work at a, you know, a bar. Oh, okay. Got it. I was like, I couldn't remember if we had told you or not, but yeah, he's now the, uh, you are correct though. And that if he were at the distillery, he would usually be back in like, you know, 20 minutes, but you didn't remember that. But yeah, he's really enjoying his new gig. You know, he's the head bartender. He gets to do like creative. Um, I'm not sure if you guys tuned. I know Tony, I think you were here, but uh, I wanted to tell you guys this too. I just feel like you guys would be so tickled. Um, so we did a stream some months ago. It was, it was before, I guess before September, because that's when the speakeasy opened. Um, but, uh, we did a stream that involved me, uh, giving Trey, like, prompts to make drinks with, but he had to collect his drinks, um, and, uh, uh his drink ingredients and his supplies by playing games with me. Does that sound familiar? If you guys, I, Tony, I think you were there, um, but... In one of the challenges, it was a drink, they were, they were cocktail challenges. So in one of the challenges, it was, he had three challenges that he had to do. He did all of them. And he technically lost my challenge. Like he got, um, one of the drinks didn't score high enough. Uh, I was there towards the end. Yes, that's right. Tony, you were there to, to help out. Um, so he... He had a drink at the very end that he wanted to do. He said, I want to make one more drink because I want to redeem myself. Like, I want to win these games. And I said, okay, I'll let you, I'll let you redo this. I'll let you redo this drink. But you, we still have to play the game. So he redid the drink and um, it was, it was a Lumi Sour. So a Lumi is a dried uh, lime, like a black lime. Uh, and he made a sour with it. Very pretty. He used Empress Gin. Uh, it was gorgeous. I probably, I might have it posted on the Discord. If not, I'll go take a look. But um, that was a drink that he made to redeem himself on this stream, right? This drink, the Lumi Sour, is actually a staple menu at the Speakeasy that he works at now. He, it was really, he made it for the owner and she really enjoyed it and, and they decided to keep it on the menu. So it's a staple, the, the drink that he had made because he wanted to win my games on stream is a, a staple drink on the speakeasy uh, menu. And it's actually a really popular one too. Like a lot of people really enjoy it because it's a very approachable drink and it's very pretty. It's still like purple floral with like the, the little um garnishes on top so yeah i wanted to tell you guys that i was like i feel like the sippers would really get a kick out of this oh that's my tamagotchi damn it i hate when they fall asleep in their poop
What the heck? There we go. Cause he's badass! Yeah. Trey's pretty badass. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought that's so cool. Like, people really enjoy the Lumi sound. This one's, it's a little dried on the edges, but we'll make it work. I probably should have kept these in the, um, I probably should have kept it in the wrapper, but I didn't, so, oops. My bad. You are too. Don't forget that. Oh, thanks, Tony. You're badass, too. Slowly but surely, we're doing it. Oh, Tony, actually, I found a new song recently. I wanted to share it with you. Um, it is a K-pop song, but I feel like it gives off very... It gives off very Vocaloid vibes, actually, and I feel like it would... I feel like you'd enjoy it. It's a little bit more of like the like a girl group song, so it's got a little bit of that... Kind of, oh my god! Okay, well, uh, this one is going to be an empanada. Shit! Okay, we're just gonna just put you, just. Okay. Oh my god, this shit so okay. She's a she's a little she's she was struggling a little bit. <laughs> Uh, but yes, the song is called um, Cat and Mouse by Black Swan. And the beginning also reminds me, the audio almost sounds like the, the there's like a couple of like um, sound effects that they did to their voices that sounds like a, a, a Splatoon. They sound like little Splatoon characters. And I'm like, oh my god, this is literally so fucking cute. It's such a catchy song too. But yeah, it, it gives me kind of Vocaloid vibes. I'm like, I need to tell Tony about that. I have to link you the song. I'll, um, I'll link it for you after stream. Just remind me and that will. I might just share it in the Discord too because it is a, it's a really good song. You were my, my, we were Vocaloid buddies, like, off the get-go. That was our shit. Oh, shit. Alright, there's no saving this one. This one's just gonna be big. You're just gonna be big. Fuck this. Fuck this shit. I'm just gonna double wrap this bitch. All these bitches about to be double wrapped. I'm mad. These are ugly. Everything is ugly. Why? We gotta 
gonna talk at some point soon. Got some stuff to show and question. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, depending on what I'm doing after stream, if you want to chit chat after stream, um, I can do that too. After I'm done fucking fighting these uh, dumplings. I also have been itching to play some uh, Stardew Valley again. Since I've been sick for a week, I haven't been able to do much. I also picked up Baldur's Gate again. I uh, I hadn't played for a little while because I feel like it was really daunting to think about playing. It's definitely not like, it's not a casual game. Like, Baldur's Gate is very intensive. Uh, it's a fun game, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely like, you know, not you know, Cult of the Lamb or Stardew Valley. But... I picked it up because uh, one of my friends had actually started uh, her profile on my uh, on our PS5, and she got it for her PS5, but needed the specs for like one of her characters that she wanted to make, the Guardian. Uh, so I had to play through a little bit of her story quest or her, of her story so I can get the Guardian. Uh, so I could take a picture for her, and then once I started playing, I was like, mm, you know what? I'll hop on my profile. I'll see, I'll see how this goes uh, on my profile, and then I was like, hooked from there. So, <laughs> yeah. I'll let you know how I feel after I fight these dumplings. <laughs> Cause I do want to try to salvage as many wrappers as I can. Cause these, they, like, they're thick. They, they are just too thick. They're so tasty, but like, I want to get my, my money's worth of dumpling wrappers. Trey's gonna get home and see just how lopsided all of these are. God damn it. God damn it! God damn it! Ah. This is so annoying. This is so annoying, yeah. doing with my life nobody knows nobody knows oh <gasps> okay how many more I have one two three four five six let me see if I get 12 because this is too much for six but it might be just enough for 12 Looks promising. Oh, have you seen the new uh, Pokemon DLC? If you guys play Pokemon, I know that uh, the Synchro mode is very popular because you can be your Pokemon, which I think is so darling. I'm like, damn, I wasn't really planning on getting the DLC. I was like, eh, whatever. But 
after seeing everything, I'm like, hmm, do I? Do I want to get this? This almost feels like, you know when you have like a sticker on a thing that you bought, like the price tag, and you're trying to peel it off without any gunk left over? That's kind of what this is giving right now. <laughs> Except I can't just goog on this and call it a day. The feeling does smell good though. Because if anything, I do have some um, egg noodles, so I might just like fry that up and then <laughs> I might just fry it up and then toss it on top of my egg noodles. Ow, my back feels like it needs to pop because I'm hunched over trying to peel these damn wrappers. I've seen some of it. Uh, I don't really get the DLC of Pokemon, but the starters are so cute. Yes! I was gonna say, I, I was like, I don't know if I really want the DLC, but like, these look so fun. I'm like, damn, should I, should I get it? Because then we can play and like, you know, all I could just. Have you seen the, uh, the Entei form? They did release that one. I want to know your opinion on it. Because I really enjoy it. I don't remember the last one I made that was pleated. Pokemon looks so much better than the other Gen 3A. They look like they have fur. Yes! I think that is really cool that they look like they have the, you know, the actual texture of whatever it is their skin is or their fur and scales. So cool. I feel like I got a crick in my shoulder. <laughs> okay. I have not seen Inke. That's the one that evolves into the you had it's the upside down one, right? You gotta turn your 3DS upside down. 
I don't remember the name. Well, it starts with an M, right? There are. I, it is at that point now where there's so many Pokemon, I do get confused. And I'm like, damn it, I want to know these, but I have no idea what these are. <laughs> Fuck it. Malamar, thank you! I was like, I I know it, I just don't remember it. Alright, there are literally four more. I might just make four mega ones. I'm just gonna like do a quick run through and see if I can peel any apart just easily, but if I can't, then we're just gonna do four mega ones, cause I'm not fucking around with you. Maybe to avoid this brand of uh, dumpling wrappers. They, uh, this actually isn't the usual brand I go for either. They just didn't, my Asian grocer just didn't have any, um, any of the ones that I usually use. So I was like, well, I guess this one looks okay, so I'll just grab it. I was, I was played. Nope. Look, just make mega ones. It's easier. It'll taste just as good. Less work and still tasty. I think it's because I'm stubborn. That's why. I'm stubborn. But you're right. We're just gonna make mega ones. Much easier. Still tasty. I just didn't get as many dumplings as I wish I could have. But. You win some, you lose some. Bamboozled, right, I was bamboozled. It said easy peel, easy peel my ass. Actually, don't easy peel my ass, it's weird. But y'all know what I mean. Now I do have leftover filling though, so. All right, do we want to fry up leftover filling and have it over egg noodles? Is that what we're feeling? <laughs> it happens, stubbornness affects all, right. Sometimes I can be a little too stubborn, I know. <laughs> I have to know when enough is enough. <laughs> When I do hear Animal Crossing music, sometimes I'm like, dang, do I want to pick it back up? And then I pick up Sardu, and I don't pick up Animal Crossing. <laughs> but Animal Crossing music is always so good.
Okay. This was a little... <laughs> Alright. These are all the dumplings I have, plus the ones I have in the fridge. Or in the freezer. So... This didn't, um... This didn't produce as many as I would like, unfortunately. But we still produced some, so I think that's a win. I think that's a win in our book, huh? <laughs> Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is. So, we've got a whole thing of filling left. I could. Hmm, what should we do with this? Should I just save the filling? Because I could just go and get more, um. Dumping wrappers. Same. But recently I've gone back to Don't Starve Together. It's comforting. Deer Clops and Moose Goose. <laughs> to kill Mo Deer Clops and Moose Goose over and over again. Oh. Yes, we're definitely going to save it. I'm not throwing it away. I'm just trying to figure out what to do with it. I feel like I could put it in a... decide what to do with it later because I also can I either can fry it up or I can um, put it in the freezer We got the filling. So I said use it for a side for a different dish later. Okay. I almost feel like these would be great in bun bows, actually. Um, I don't have a recipe for those. The batter, but I'm sure I can find one. Okay, so... Mushroom garlic onion. You can use it as a topper for steak or make your own Philly cheese. Ooh! Philly cheese steak? Yeah, like a sandwich. I have these really pretty buns. Um... The buns are somewhere over here, but I feel like the the that would be a great idea. Also, hi Dia! How are you? You missed my whole escapade, because you can see how ugly these dumplings are. They were not this was this was a fiasco. So <laughs> Hi, how are you? How did the uh the rhubarb cake turn out, by the way? Made with love. <laughs> yeah, um, if you want to call it that. <laughs> How are you? How are things? Um, let's see. I need to... Very tired. This time of year is a bit of a, of a time. Yes, I. That's a mood. Honestly, I totally feel you. So it's okay to be okay. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to be tired. It's all right. It's alright to be tired. Okay. 
What I'm doing right now is I'm cutting up some uh, tomatoes. Uh, I am making a soup with the leftover woodier mushrooms. It's on the stove right now. So I'm gonna toss these guys in the soup and we also need some green onions to go in here too. Green onions. There is some leftover, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, Subway in here. And honestly, you know, whenever you cook enough and you're like, man, I'm finally, I'm, I'm like tired after doing all my cooking. I don't want to cook anything that I just made. Do you, do you, do you ever, uh, uh, rhubarb custard? Oh, yeah, muffins, that's right. Yay, I'm glad! Did you post a picture on your Discord? I'll have to go and double check if you did. Uh, we're just gonna do this. Okay. Boop. Put these there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of take them in. Inch. Bits. Banoffee thing. Oh wait, I'm gonna stream in a couple hours, but that's way too late for Americans. <laughs> gonna start assembling the trifle tonight. Ooh, okay. Like, sometimes I'm up late. I might pop in depending on how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying. Um, Banoffee theme. So I made banana cake, salted caramel, custard. Gotta get fresh bananas. Toast nut. Uh, toast the nuts and make whipped cream. Ooh, that sounds delicious. You need somebody to do your dishes? I do your dishes in exchange for a bite. <laughs> That's like my default thing. If somebody asks me to help in the kitchen and do doesn't give me direction, I always will wash dishes. That's that's like the number one thing I do. Like, you need your you need help. I don't know what to do. Dishes being washed. You won't have a single thing in the sink. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, I got the dishes. Especially if I don't know, if I haven't worked with you in the kitchen before too, I, I'm like, okay, well, obviously I don't want to get in the way, but I don't know what their, I don't know what their play style is. <laughs> What's your cooking style? Where do I need to be? Where are things in the kit? I, I, I will set my ass at the dishwasher, uh, at the sink, and I will get these dishes done. Unless you tell me otherwise. <laughs> I also think I'm pretty intuitive when it comes to, um, uh, being in the kitchen as well, just because I'm in the kitchen often, you know, I like to cook. So I feel like I have a pretty good handle of like how to uh, do things in the kitchen just in general without having to be told. Okay, we're basically, what I'm doing right now is I'm basically just taking the, like the extra ugly ones. Um, and we're just gonna, we're just frying them up for us to eat. <laughs> Trey will get the pretty ones, but we will get the... We'll get the ones made with extra love. <laughs> okay, um... Which one... Which one has extra love written all over it? These ones look like they have extra love written all over it. <laughs> Dumplings looking good, thank you. They actually look horrid. You can say that, it's okay. <laughs> the dumpling rampers like shat the bed. I don't really know what happened. I think I just got like a really bad, I just got a really bad batch of uh, um, dumpling wrappers. So we fought with them basically for like two hours. Ugly delicious is a whole mood. <laughs> They're pretty, thank you guys. <laughs> <coughs> oh god, Jesus. Yeah, you can you can still hear that my cough is still around. It's, it's a little gnarly, but it's this is literally the most normal I've felt like in a whole week. It was being sick was terrible. It was awful, y'all. Mm, okay. Mm, I think it needs 
right, the lingering coughs are the worst because it's like I promise that I don't have a fever, you know, and it's just it's not, coughs are gross. It's just that this is this is how it is. It just coughs are not fun. They're they're just not. <laughs> it just ain't it. I'm sorry to hear you're so sick. It's okay. I appreciate it though. I'm just glad I'm feeling better because man. Right, and I can't, it's just not, it just ain't it. <laughs> um, here, I'll show you guys what I got going on. This is the soup that I made with the extra, where are we? This is the soup that I'm making with the extra wood ear, so we got wood ear mushrooms, tomatoes, green onion, and then a little bit of, um, chicken bouillon, and a little bit of, uh, tamarind soup base. So it's tart, tangy, savory. She does need a little bit more tamarind though, I think. Need a little bit more tamarind. Colorful, thank you. Yeah, I was gonna say it's actually really colorful. Pretty cute. She's pretty cute. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, did you say tamarind? I did say tamarind. Tamarind is one of my faves, but this is a sour tamarind. I do also like sweet tamarinds too. That's one of my favorite. Uh, that's one of those fruits that I forget about until I have them again. And I'm like, damn, this tamarind's good. And then I forget about them after that. <laughs> mm. uh, we use it in Indo cooking. It's in soup. Yes. Yeah, I was like, out of everybody, I should trust you. Dia, you know. I ain't gotta explain this shit. You got this. <laughs> you fucking know this shit. You know this. But yes. I feel like I should try out some more Indonesian cooking. I don't think I've actually ever made, well, I mean, I've made dishes that have been Indonesian inspired, but I don't think I've made any true Indonesian dishes. Cause I, I I cook a lot of Southeastern Asian dishes, which is, is that in the in the kind of the area esque. Um, but yeah, I would love to try out some more Indonesian food. Okay, yeah, I was I'm terrible with geography. You don't ask me to. I I, I try my best. I know a general direction. <laughs> okay, those are just gonna. Those are just gonna stay there, and we are going to. They're gonna get steep. Southeast Asia, baby! That's where that's where my family's from. That's where that's where my folks are from. They're from Laos. I'm first generation American. Okay, well these guys are I have no dread, right? I'm like, I don't know. Coconut cream, chili, lime leaf, lemongrass, turmeric, ginger, garlic, chili. Yeah, everything is so spicy. Love it. Um, I always swap out the ginger with galangal because I'm allergic to ginger, but I can have galangal, which I feel like is so strange. They're literally like, I wonder what's in ginger that's not in galangal that I can have. Uh, um, but I actually made thom, thomka for the very first time last week or no it was the beginning of this week um <coughs> excuse me and that was a really fun like i had a i had a really fun time making this the domka um because i'd only ever gotten it at you know the thai 
uh, uh, restaurants and stuff. But actually, making it is pretty easy. Um, I haven't had much Lao food, but I imagine flavor. Yeah, uh, it's it's you know since Laos Laos right next to Thailand, a lot of the flavors do kind of are very similar. Um, but yeah, right. It's straight. They're they're literally just they're basically the same thing. Same family, everything. So I don't know why I can have galangal and I can't have ginger. It's it's wild. Thumka, you gotta get spice flavors right and then it off. Yes! So I, I I was kind of flying by the seat of my pants for a little bit. I was like, all right, let me just, let me just try this out. You know, uh, it says a couple of lime leaves. I'm gonna use like 10. <laughs> yes, it is similar to Thai food. Um, so yeah. I had a I had a fun time making tom ka. It was really really good. Um, soups just in general are my favorite though. I really enjoy making soups. Okay. I feel like these guys might need a little bit. These are the mega ones. They might need some more. Uh... <laughs> they might need some more cooking because they're kind of mega. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go get the ones that are already in the freezer. They should be frozen enough to leave on their own. Yeah. Okay. Like, yo, these are so, like these are ugly. These are so ugly. Okay, what we're doing is I'm gonna put these guys in here. We're gonna freeze them so that they don't stick to each other. And then we're gonna put them in baggies after that. Okay. Oh, I probably should turn her off. Woo! All right, she's gonna go in the freezer. I will, I will, I'll take a picture of them. <laughs> All right, I think somebody exploded on the, <laughs> somebody might have exploded on the, the stove. They are <laughs> Look at these suckers steam fried pot sticker. I'm definitely my default is always pot sticker. That's my go-to I feel like I want to try steaming uh, them more because I like the texture of the wrappers after they get steamed um, I feel like I always avoid frying food because I hate the cleanup that's like the worst part. I hate cleaning up the used oil. I love fried foods. This is, the, the cleanup sucks ass. It's booty and not the good kind. Fried food is good when it's made for you. Correct. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, in the freezer these go. They'll be ready for Trey by the time he gets home. By the time he gets home. These, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot to tell you. These, I'll show you the uh, filling, actually. I'm actually really proud of the filling. So this filling, ta-da! This filling is onions, uh, garlic, oyster, baby oyster mushrooms, 
Um, woodier mushrooms and tofu. Bam, bam, bam. It's, I was like, oh shit, this is vegan. It's almost vegan. I forgot that I put oyster sauce in it. So that, take the oyster sauce out and it is vegan. <laughs> but Trey's wanting to do, or he wanted to do more of like a veggie based, like meatless, uh, uh, like filling. So I was like, all right, I'll work with what we got at home. I'll work with what we get. But yeah, I'm actually really happy with how the, the filling came out. Um, I just uh, now have extra filling because my dumpling wrapper is fucked up. So Tony recommended that I make almost like a sandwich out of this and I kind of feel like that might be where I go with this. Do like a little sandwich. Like a sloppy joe almost, you know? But in the fridge she goes. In the fridge she goes, isn't that right, Brew? Also, Dia, here is Brew. He is, a uh, he is big chilling right now. Look at him. We have matching, um, Aldi wear. <laughs> you say hi to Dia? You say hi? You say hi? <laughs> He's so cute in his sweater. Yeah. Yeah, I got the Ollie socks. He got the Ollie sweater. He's actually been chilling there the entire time, so I think he's like super comfy. Descri- Yeah, dude, he's so scruffy. <laughs> mushrooms are good for dumplings. Okay, I will, I had like- I, I've i never actually used mushrooms in dumplings before, but something was telling me, I was like, I feel like, especially like a king oyster, a good hearty mushroom, I feel like it would be good. You just go- Ow! Stop chewing your feet. I caught you. Don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here is these guys. They uh. They they've they've probably seen better. Like what the what the fuck is this like Shumai looking bullshit? <laughs> this is my mega one. <laughs> uh, definitely makes I've made is pretty much what you did. Oh yeah. That makes me happy. Yay. I feel like, I feel like, uh, I feel like I got like big sister approval. <laughs> like, Dia got it, Dia got it. I did it like Dia. She likes it. <laughs> mm. Ooh, okay. Oh shit, damn, it's already almost, it's almost 11 o'clock here. I didn't, I usually don't stream for this long, I think. Well, I was fucking fighting with those, uh, dumpling wrappers. So, that's why I'm on here still. These fucking, ugh. But, any hoosers. Um, <coughs> I think we're gonna go ahead and call it, uh, a day. However, before you guys leave anywhere, well, we got we got double screens. Yeah. Also, let me show you. Do you look at this cute apron? My friend made it for me for my birthday. Uh, there's like the little pockets over here, so there's cute little pockets. But it's so freaking cute. There's like little oranges on it. Where where are we? Little oranges. Right, the pockets, bro. I was like, yo, there's pockets. I have my dish towel literally in this pocket. So good. Um, <laughs> so you guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out. I really appreciate, I can look here now. I really appreciate that you guys came out and like hang out with me, watch me fight with these dumplings and saw the aftermath. Um, right? I'm, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, it is our, actually not yet, um, because it is still, uh, not midnight, but it is about to be our our friend Larix's birthday, and he is actually doing a. Uh, I think he just reached a thousand followers here on Twitch, and excuse me, and he's also doing a birthday stream. It's like a combined stream. So if you guys want to hold on to your seats, we're gonna go raid him and just say hello. Make sure to wish him happy birthday. Um, he's doing some cool sh some cool shit, as he always does. he always does cool shit with cocktails. Um, so let me. Let me actually go ahead and start the break real quick, and then we can chit chat. Um, we should be back. 
<laughs> next. Oh shit! Wait, actually, this is this the last stream before the new year. Oh shit! No, it's not. No oh, shit. Yeah, it is. I might try streaming on uh, sometime like in the middle of this upcoming week since I know this is Saturday. But if you don't, this is the last uh, stream before our New Year stream, and a lot we chit chatted about this. But I think you guys are interested in doing like a Roaring Twenties um, cocktail stream for the New Year, and I'll talk it over with Trey to see what we can do. But I think that might be our next upcoming stream. So, if I don't see you guys next week, that'll be the next planned stream. So just keep an eye on the Discord. We'll make sure to update um, when we're going to be doing it um, and all that good jazz. So, okay, let me go ahead and start the bait. Oh my gosh, the sprout <laughs> and the sapling are on. Okay. Um... So yeah, thank you guys so much for coming and joining. I really appreciate it. Thank you also for being patient with me being sick as, you know, I've, I've been recovering. But I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. Have a, a Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy, happy winter. Happy weekend, honestly. We're making it through. And happy 2023. Because if we don't see you guys for the rest of this week, we'll see you guys in 2024. So uh, we'll talk to you very soon. But again, hold on to your seats. We're going to go say hi to Larix. Say happy birthday to the lyrics, but love you guys. We'll catch you later.